Because that's kind of insane. Oh my god. There's literally just a giant horde there. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival, the increasingly and surprisingly fun mobile survival game that I never thought would exist, yet it exists, and it makes me a happy camper. Today we return, I want to head on over to the bunker, but as you guys can tell, I'm a little bit naked. So right now, what I'm saying we try to do is actually figure out how to craft ourselves some clothes, we can get the sneakers, no we can't, we can only get pants and a shirt. Well. Gotta start somewhere, so what do we gotta get for those pants and whatnot? We'll head there with a pretty empty inventory and stuff, we'll have our meds. Maybe I should've learned how to make band-aids now that I think about it, but... I will probably figure out a way not to disastrously mess up. Especially because you guys told me I should be bringing carrot stew, which I've actually started cooking up, so we're gonna do that. But all I gotta get is some grass, some cloth, and some other stuff, and we'll be good to go, so let's get that. Let's get the rope, and then we'll get the grass from this bottom one, and boom shakalaka, there should be two brand spanking new pairs of clothes ready to be put on our bodies. I am excited. Are you guys excited? Probably not as excited as me, because I guess I just get easily excited by clothes. That's what it's come down to. But anyways, I hope you guys are having nothing but the most fan-freaking-tastic day in the world. And today, I'm just very excited because we are setting out for adventure. We're going to be doing some real epic stuff. And since we are doing some epic stuff, we are not going to cheap out on this. We are going to equip the machete, which does way more damage than what we were used to. We also appear to be a little bit thirsty, so I'm actually going to start taking some of this stuff. Speaking of that, I'm actually going to slowly start turning the carrots into some carrot stew, which we still have to do because it didn't have enough wood. So I'm gonna toss some wood on that fire. Never mind, we don't have wood, so we'll get some more of that. But we do have five carrot stew here we can bring with us for food and hydration. Uh, speaking of hydration, we got some bottles of water we could drink up. But you guys have been telling me to save up my carrots, and I'm gonna be doing exactly that. But I'm gonna continue to drink and whatnot, get our hydration up. Um, I don't want to eat the carrots because I think those are better. Oh, I gotta, I really gotta go to the bathroom. Do I have to poop or do I have to pee? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's be- Oh, wow. Well, would you look at that? It's peeing time. <laughs> I can never get over that. Look, you can even see we got our pee that- Jesus, man. That's how you know this game's legit. Arkhead pooping. This game has peeing. We have all of the basics. But I'm gonna go ahead and put away some of that stuff. Uh, we will put away that. No, we're gonna keep that. I meant to put away the water since we should be good on that. We'll probably eat a couple of baked beans here because I believe we just wanted to get our hunger up a little bit. So we're as ready as possible for what's gonna be happening. I don't know why I keep hitting inventory instead of this. There we go. Let's use one more. We got some more of the baked beans used up, and also I would like to take some of those empty water bottles, put them back in the water collector, because this thing has been hard at work getting us some of that free water. Seriously, it's literally free water. I can't get over how amazing it is, but it is time. We are not but naked. We have clothes on. We have a machete. We have two first aids, and we got a whole ton of stamina. It is time. To head on over to the bunker, unless there's some sort of interesting event happening. There's like a chance that that happens. No, nothing interesting. We are going to Bunker Bravo. Well, actually, I gotta go grab the key card real quick. All right, now that I actually have the Bravo key card, let's run on over to Bunker Bravo. We got 26 seconds while this quick little run happens. We have the impending horde that's gonna be coming in like 17 hours. We're gonna have to deal with that. A couple of bases that I would actually not mind attacking. So I think these are player bases from what people have been telling me, unless I don't, maybe I've been reading the wrong comments, who knows. That's definitely a player base, but I feel like Carl is too. But we're about to get there, before we get there, this is gonna be our first bunker. I don't know how it's gonna be, you guys were telling me. I should definitely go here before I even bother going to Bunker Alpha, which might be a little bit insane, but, uh, it is time. Wish me the best of luck, and while you're wishing me luck, I'm gonna be wishing you guys an absolutely fan fantastic day. Hope you're having an awesome one, and I hope your day is as awesome as how epic this is about to hopefully be. Horde, for unknown reasons, they form large groups. I'm well aware of that. I'm also well aware of the military bunker. This is my first time ever going into such a place. This, which we should be able to access with our Bravo key card. Open. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Oh, mama, do you guys see all the red? I'm gonna try to like draw them out one by one. Cause that's kind of insane. Oh my god. There's literally just a giant horde there. This might go very good or very bad. Oh, this is probably gonna be very bad. Sweet mama. 
Don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. You guys told me this would go well. Oh my god, I've been bamboozled. Wow. Was not ready for that. Nope. Uh, did I just lose everything I had? I really hope I didn't, because that would make me very sad. <laughs> did that just happen? Oh my god. Rippy dippy sweetheart of ch You guys bamboozled me, man. <laughs> Whoever said to go there. I'm not listening to you guys again. Well, looks like I gotta do a little bit of work here to kind of come back from what just happened. I thought maybe I could get like one of them to aggro me at a time. Maybe that would have been where like a pistol could have come in handy. Either way, that was ugly. Holy hell, I think I need like a grenade or something to deal with that. Do I have any high explosives here? Hello? Anything explosive that could possibly deal with those guys? I don't see enough explosives to handle something like that. Oh my god. I still can't believe that happened. That is crazy. I can get a helicopter? Dude, that sounds dope. Turrets? Mortars? Oh ho ho ho. I wish I could get all the way up to level 88, because by the looks of it, level 88 has some super dope stuff. But, shenanigans aside, I think we have to uh, kind of go and recuperate stuff. So, I'm going to grab one of these, which should help us mine stuff. I'll probably craft a hatchet, and I'm going to get back on the grind and recovering from what just happened. Because, holy hell, not doing that <laughs> until I know we're prepared because holy hell but this is a new area limestone ridge don't think we've been there yet we can go to the green areas which should be easy difficulty uh we do have the pine bushes out there out west we got watchtowers which seem to be too far away we can't go to those yeah i think our best bet right now is just to try and get our level up a little bit and i think the best way of doing that is to head on over to for example limestone ridge and hopefully something good happens out of here so i'm gonna start grinding and uh if i get anything good i'll let you know otherwise it's it's a grind time all right and after that disaster i went ahead trained a little bit we're all the way up to level 15 i've been growing a ton of stuff here like i've, I've just got back from a loot run actually i've been putting in work because we were not ready for bunker bravo contrary to what some of you beautiful people told me you lied to my face. That's, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone said it. Maybe I read the totally wrong thing. Regardless, that's in the past. And what's in the present is I crafted up some of these chests. Because as you can see here, we have five points. And we have a whole ton of new stuff to learn. The tanning rack is very high up on the list of things that I want to make. Stonecutter's table kind of also up there. But uh, the meat dryer, I feel like, will be very useful. And we got just enough points for the stonecutter's table. We will make that, and voila, we have some stuff and things, so that is perfect. And with that, we can now begin to hopefully craft some of those stuffs. Uh, so what I, what I want to do first is probably the tanning rack. We can put that outside. All we need is some stuff. Well, first I got to start putting some of the stuff away because uh, if you guys can't tell, I have quite a good amount of it in my inventory. So what I'm going to try to do is do a little bit of swappy swaps there. We're going to put some of the carrots away up into here. I've been stockpiling a whole ton of carrots too. I have not been going easy on that. So we still got a whole ton of beans. We got a whole ton of stuff. I think in our inbox, we got some free food, actually. Woot woot. Although our inventory is kind of full, so I got to put that away. But we've been stockpiling quite a few things, and it's going pretty well. So what do we need to craft that thing that I wanted to craft? I believe it is. Uh, well, I'm thirsty first off, so... Yeah, do I just want to... Eh, mm, our inventory is so full and stuff. This is why I really want to expand and do a little bit of expansion now. Start doing some of those uh, better chests. We have to upgrade the floors for that, which I'll talk about in a sec. But anyways, I didn't want to put some of the rest of this stuff away. And speaking of some of the rest of the stuff going away, this thing in particular is going somewhere. Like the CB radio, which we can now actually complete. Hello, radio. You've been finalized, baby. Oh, and the horde came through and knocked down another wall or two, which is always fun. Uh, our food's going down quite a bit, too, so I'm going to try to deal with this very quickly um, by eating some... Yeah, I'll just eat some juicy steaks. I think we can get a little bit of thirst out of that, too. Not a lot, but a little bit, enough to make it work. Uh, so anyways, back to the CB radio. Intercepted message. They breached defenses. Last hope. Bunker Alpha. Pass. Oh! Do we get the bunker alpha password? Hello. 
I do not have a vehicle with which to write this down upon a piece of paper, but hopefully I'll remember 11256. That could come in handy. We intercepted that message, and that's the only message that exists. But I think what we had to do is actually build this first, and this is what's going to allow us, which I think, screw it, next episode, we're going to Bunker Alpha, but we're going to be prepared. Okay, and unfortunately, I did not learn the recipe for band-aids, which in hindsight, I should have learned instead of the stonecutter's table. But, that's my fault. I found this dope weapon, the Skull Crusher. 45 damage. If we sneak attack on someone, that'll be great. The Glock. I think we're going to bring the Glock and the Skull Crusher over to that. I think that's going to be awesome and maybe might be enough to help us get through what will probably be quite a challenge. But, uh, back to the putting stuff in our inventory train. I think we needed some iron bars for what we were doing. Uh, we needed some of those, I think. And one more thing, if I'm not mistaken. We need some of the planks. Okay. So, I'll just swap some. Not like we can put those there. We'll pick up the planks and bada bing bada boom. We are in business. Tanning rack, welcome to my inventory, good sir. Wait, did I even have the inventory room for the tanning rack? Okay, I did. Just had to make sure. So we can have a maximum of two of them. They can be placed on the ground. They they have to go on the ground. So this is going to go outside. Uh, I'll put it by the fire. I'll rotate a little bit there. And boom. I think that tanning rack is going to be perfect. And we are going to start that tanning process pretty early. But uh, first off, I'm going to drink a couple of those bottles of water. And I mean, bottles of water. Oh, we get to pee. All right. Why don't we... Uh, let's pee on the fire. Let's try to, let's try to put out the... F Never mind. That's not going to work. Well... You know what? Why don't we go and pee on this thing over here? You know? Oh, what is this? Healer? I just found a healer. Hello, healer. Oh, God. Don't die. I will protect you. Healer. What the hell? We found an NPC? This is awesome. Give me a sec, NPC, because I have to pee. <laughs> it's funny because NPC is pee in it. See what I did there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's, let's just get this pee out of the way. He needs a shower. Okay, he's now he's a stinky boy. Well... We can shower, we can arrange for that, but what there is in here, we just have this constant stream of water, and it's perfect because it's right next to the shower, so we can literally just shower with some of that water that we got, get that out of the way, this is gonna take a couple of seconds at most, but I'm so excited for Bunker Alpha, I hope we're ready for it, hopefully we can craft up some fresh clothes and stuff to go into there. Hopefully I can get tons of carrot stew. You guys have told me carrot stew apparently heals a lot, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we can put some of those bottles away, and okay. Um, also, we got some carrots here. We got some more seeds. I'll put those seeds in there. Look at that. We're freeing up a little bit of room. Yeah, I really started running out of storage space, but this guy, look at him, the healer. I want to talk to him and see what's up. Hey, Survivor, I think you need some help. I have something for you. After you eat something, an ad video will start. Okay, so I get to eat in exchange for an ad video. Um... What did these do? Strange berries. Just like a compass showing north, you feel where you can find the stuff you're interested in. Chance to find a weapon increased by five. Gives you tremendous lift, restores energy to the maximum point, or brain weed seeds. The experience you gain is increased by 100%. Yo! I want XP. XP is good. So that's awesome. This healer gives us a choice. He's here for like 20, 30 minutes, I want to say. And he gives us a choice of one of these three things to eat. Ooh. I like the XP. I feel like XP is going to be very good. I don't know how long this is going to last. Who knows? If it's permanent, that would be insane and make me a very happy camper, but I don't know. But I will eat this and sit through an ad for the good of you guys and the good of us. What is this? Shh, relax, just drifting to sleep and you'll wake up in a better you'll wake up a better person. Okay, so he literally just ran off and there's a screen or something letting us know about our boost. I don't know if it says like anything about the boost anywhere else, but it did say we get more XP, so we gotta go ahead and try to make use of this as much as possible. But, uh, does this ever, like, respawn loot? Like, this old pickup truck, I feel like it's gonna be annoying. Like, we're gonna try to build up our base to be the most amazing thing, and that pickup truck will just chill. Speaking of that, though, at, we're at level 15. We're getting very close to the spike trap, and I cannot wait so we can finally have some defenses against that stupid horde that's gonna come. Oh, no, I don't wanna shower. I'm good. I'm good. I don't know why I wanna do that again. I wanna go over here to the tanning rack. I actually wanna go over there with some of this, because this can be turned into leather, at least that's what I've been told by you guys, recipes. That becomes leather, oh, and grass becomes rope. Would you look at that? But yeah, we can slowly have that doing its thing, so that's gonna be helpful, and okay. Next thing we wanna craft up here is the meat dryer. All we need is literally one more rope for that. I think we have one more, we literally had exactly one more rope. Okay, thank God I've been stockpiling and looting all these places in my free time. That's what I love about recording this mobile game, 
is that I can like grind anywhere and I don't have to be home. So a lot of times I'm just like, usually like maybe if I'm in a car or something or like, I don't know, just have some downtime and I'm like, meh, let's do it. Does it have to go on the ground? Oh, this, this one can go on the floor. Well, why don't we put this in that corner? There we go. I want, I don't know. I like to have stuff indoors as much as possible. Why? I don't know. It makes it feel like my house has more purpose, you know? Uh, so recipes here are meat can become jerky. I am pretty interested in making that 20 meats into jerky. Now, I don't know what's better. If you guys know, I would definitely appreciate any comments letting me know better. I don't know. Is, is steak, like, is jerky better than juicy steak or what's up there? And also, honestly, how hard, like, ugh. No, I don't know. Like, I love your tips on how Al Bunker Alpha is. However, when I listen to you guys on Bunker Bravo and someone said I should go there first, that went badly. So I think I'm just gonna go into Bunker Alpha blind and hope we're ready. I think if we have enough armor and stuff, we'll be more than fine. But, um, okay. Stonecutter's table. Can I craft that? Actually, if we get 20 planks, we can. We have 20 planks. Why don't we do that? Actually, no. I want to use these planks for something else. That something else is going to be upgrading some of these floors and getting some chests down because these floors, yeah, they take five planks, five wood. So let's get to upgrading there. Uh, we'll expand our base. We'll probably make like a doorway there or something. But all of these, it, it kind of like annoys me that these are a totally different material, but whatever. Oh God, Wolf, I was not ready for this. What the hell, man? Wolf, get out of here. That's a cheap shot. I'm building. Are you serious? Eh, uh, I guess I'll leave. I'll leave. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the rest of the planks. We st still have enough to make the stone cutters table. Do I want to make it though? Probably. Will I put it down right away? Who knows? But at least I'll make it and it'll clear up a little bit of room for us too. Um, but now we can start putting some of the stuff back away. But still, we've progressed a lot. And that makes me very happy and very proud of where we started compared to where we've come. I'm just gonna put these last couple wires away. We still have a good amount of cloth. I would love to turn all that into band-aids, but I don't think that's happening. We got some more meat and stuff, but now it is time for what I'm looking forward to, and that is bigger chests. I know that might seem like something not to get hype over, but listen, this is gonna expand our inventory space by a lot. These three chests is just as much as four of the normal stuff, because the normal ones have 12 at a time. So four times 12 is 48. 16 times 3 is 48. So yeah, we're pretty much going to double our stuff. And I don't know why I went to the crafting menu, but it's going to be pretty freaking beneficial. And we're going to start putting these down. It does suck that it has to be on the plank floor, especially because floors keep on getting more and more expensive, I feel like. But I think we'll be all right. And inventory room will skyrocket, which is always going to be a net positive. We also have the stone cutters table, which could go somewhere but yeah i think we're fine still hello chests and with some of those chests down we are gonna have some more room but i'm not gonna expand into those right now because we are on video probably just sometime in my free time i'll just you know kind of reorganize stuff make things better but i did get some planks out of our workbench we can put that into this stockpile i have an insane amount of grass i'll probably at least turn 20 of it into rope here i feel like that might be handy dandy where was that? Is it on here? Well, actually, no, because that stuff's drying right now. So that's where a second drying rack might honestly not be a bad investment. Have one for jerk, or not jerky, one for hide and one for rope. I could see that. That wouldn't even be too shabby. But back on topic, I'm going to put some of that in there, get that to work. Uh, I'll put some of the food away. I don't know. Actually, no, I think I'm good to actually put that there. We'll wrap up the rest of that actual cooking a little bit later. But I think we're good in that department. We got some of that food going down there. We got like one more of that, which we can't actually, well, actually no, we can put it in here. Yeah, look at that, perfect. And now we got an empty inventory and a heart full of adventure. And I say, let's at least try to get a little bit of adventure in before we call it a day. Do you guys agree with that plan? I, I think you do, I think you do. So I'm gonna use up a couple of baked beans, drink a couple of waters. I know that seems wasteful, but we get three for free every day. So it's not like a super huge deal to me or anything. So I'm gonna see if there's any cool events or maybe like loot places we could go to. Otherwise, maybe we'll go to a normal one and just try to uh, get a little bit of normal loot with you guys. So there we have the next horde coming through. As you can see, it's not gonna come for like another 24 hours. So we do have a little bit of time. There's the bunker, which absolutely murdered us. All of this stuff, which we do require transport to get to. I think anything across the river requires transport, or at least that's what it seems like. Cause yeah, it's saying too far away, but from our base, we have gone to farther. But I think that leaves, we could try, 
Why don't we try attacking Dagger's base? What the hell could go wrong besides everything? What do I have in my hand right now? We, I got a solid weapon, I got a little bit of water, we got some gathering tools. Let's attack this man's base. Hello, Dagger. You, my friend, are about to experience a very... Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a very powerful attack. I don't even know what base attacking looks like, but we're gonna find out today. It is time to enter. I have no clue what to expect. I just hope. And all that I can hope for right now is we come out on top. Maybe we just have to like 1v1 whoever the owner of the base is? I don't know. Okay, well like, it looks like their base is protected. I could try looting their old pickup truck. I don't know, maybe there'll be something? Who knows? Yeah, no, I, I didn't think there'd be anything. Uh, well, here's his base. Oh, he's got like a pretty nice one here. He's got spikes all over the place. Hmm. Dagger has uh, quite the deal going on here. Ooh. You know what, this makes me scared. What if people start attacking my base and stealing my stuff? I feel like they definitely could succeed at that pretty well. Hmm. Well, all of this stuff's like stone towers. I don't think we're gonna have good luck breaking into that. Yeah, a lot of this is stone. I feel like this is gonna be super hard to break into. This may be not so much though. Can I, can I, can I not break through the door? I can dynamite it. I need C4 explosives. Okay, never mind. Base rating's not gonna happen for a little bit here. Wow! Way to get my hopes up, game. I don't think I can walk through the spikes, nor do I think that I want to. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Oh, Grey Wolf, what the hell? He's got a pet wolf? Get out of here. I think I can walk out of here with a little bit of loot. Well, damn, man, I didn't know we needed C4 to do that. <sighs> That's rough for us, but whatever. At least we know what to expect with base raids, or at least what we should look towards. Pine bushes. I've never gone to these. These are like super far away. I could check out what's here. Bunker Charlie. I feel like Bunker Charlie is the easiest. It's green. Like, all these other bunkers are yellow and stuff. Charlie down there is green. What I've seen so far is, like, green is the easiest. Yellow is harder. Red's the hardest. I feel like Charlie might be easy. But we can't go there. We need some sort of weird transport. Probably, like, a boat or something. So, we'll loot around here a little bit. See if there's anything good. And uh, take things from there. All right, we're in. Let's get a little bit ballsy. Let's okay. So I've been doing like a lot more sneaking too, and I've just gotten really good at clearing stuff out. However, the way that I clear things out in my free time does take a good amount of time, which kind of does suck. Also, I definitely make sure to look for like roaming zombies first, just because those are like the biggest pain to deal with ever. I make sure to like kill plenty of deer. I feel like our mace might give out soon. I've experienced some. Uh, hello. Oh no, this was a fast biter. Ah. Yeah, even though I do usually like have to fight a good amount of zombies and stuff, finding berries throughout the map is a blessing. Like, you're able to... I don't know. I'm also just gonna put my auto loot on later. I'm not gonna exactly get these guys now, but all these berries and stuff is absolutely amazing. They give you five health each. You get five berry, or you get three berries from each bush. That's 15 health per bush, and that adds some loot. Those band-aids are gonna be useful, especially with our whole plan to go to the bunker and stuff, so I'm liking what I'm seeing there. All right, I'm gonna get a couple of berries too, because I want to heal up before we square back up. If our weapon breaks though, we might have to go on the run and not finish up our little loot run here. I think I think every area though, it seems like every area has two loot chests. And so far, I don't know where the second one is. I have found the first one, but yes, yeah, what I've seen from like a ton of the areas I've looted, is you're looking- oh, there's the second loot chest. Now what happens, I feel like, sometimes is after you loot the second chest, a freaking person will just, like, go kamikaze run at you and try to take you out. Now I'm scared of that happening, but at the same time, I don't care too much, so I think we'll be fine. And this is usually where the best loot is, otherwise, like, zombies drop, like, rope and stuff sometimes, but nothing insane. And, yeah, I've just- I just wanted to share some, like, some of the more info I've gotten to find out as I've been playing this game more. I feel like that'd be useful, especially because I think some of you guys decided to hop into the game thanks to, like, me showing it off, so that's super cool. But, yeah, when I'm out here, that's usually what I'm looking for, and usually I go out with these two handy-dandy things. Try to just go ham on crafting and finding stuff. Well, not crafting, but finding useful stuff and picking berries. But other than that, I'm just gonna go loot the rest of these zombies, and we'll probably call it an episode here. I do need to head out. Unfortunately, I'm running a bit low on time. I just flew back from LA. I was at like a Lawbreakers event, which was super cool. You'll see a video out on that soon. It's gonna be a very cool video. Definitely suggest that you guys check it out, but uh, more info on that will come in a relevant video. But, oh, oh, another cool thing. Totally random. I want a monitor. It was pretty cool.
again, more info will come later, but, uh, yeah, it's gonna go on red with me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Thank you, zombie, for being my motivation so I can punch you out. Yeah, 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 the zombie will die before I'm dead. There we go. We can loot him up. It seems like zombies like to really drop rope. That's what I've noticed, but, yeah, it's gonna go ahead. Who is this? Oh, that's a player. Oh, he's got an axe. All right, see you later. Nope, not ready to fight that. My good weapon broke. I'm out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, usually every area you go to, you find a player. Now, the problem is, oh, there's an event. The dealer is getting in touch with me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't want to go here. Is a dealer? What the hell does the dealer have? I, I want to find this out. What? What? What in tarnation? Dealer. Hello. Okay. Maybe the video's not quite ending yet. I misled you guys. I apologize greatly. Um, what? The dealer. I could fight him. He has a shotgun, though. Don't know how good of an idea that is, and I can talk to him. In exchange for some of these items, which I think I have all of at home, he'll give us a weapon crate. I might try to run home really quickly, because I think I have transistors, wires, and nuts and bolts. So BRB! This could be good. We could get a freaking weapon crate out of this. Now, the one thing I'm worried about is we might not have enough stamina to do this. How much stamina are we at? 36. We do not have enough stamina to do this. God damn it. This is where the game just bamboozles you, man. And then there's a, another plane crash up here. The game didn't let me know about that one, though. You're telling me that plane crash happened? That, that either happened three minutes ago or 18 minutes ago. So it's like 45 or 60 minutes. But damn, that sucks, man. Like, we could try killing him. But I don't really have a good enough weapon. And by the looks of it, that man had a shotgun. So I'm not going to push my luck that far. And, like, we can't get more... Ah... That sucks. Mm. Yeah. Well, sucks to be us, but I mean, I guess we could start walking home and slowly having that process happen because we couldn't even run home if we wanted to. We're out of stamina for now. And that, I've never had the dealer happen before. What the hell? Maybe I should travel here more often and with more loot, I guess, because I don't even know. I wish I could, like, go and, like, fight these zombies right now. Like, not wait for them. I wish I could intercept the horde. Not because I do it right now, we're way too weak for that. But it seems like it'd be a cool thing to do, but... Yeah, I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day. We will be back. We will continue. Hopefully I'll be level 18 by next episode. But regardless of what happens, I'll build up some armor. I'll get the good weapons. And I'm thinking that we're going to uh, Bunker Alpha, baby. We're gonna see how it goes. But that's gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves a fan freaking fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.